dismembering. How you guys doing today? Hey, everybody. We're the Ungodly Geeks. We talk about stuff. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And today, we have no idea what we're doing, which means it's actually not much different from any other day. Uh, no, we totally know what we're doing, because we saw a movie. Oh, did we? Yes. Okay, that's cool. It's because, uh, um, shit, I think it came out Tuesday, because uh, yesterday, for us, when we were recording, was uh, July 4th. Yay! So, happy belated holiday. If you're an American, happy Freedom Day. Yeah. If you're anybody else, happy Thursday. Yep. Because, I mean, uh, nobody fucking cares. Like, really? No. Not really. <laughs> Most of our listeners, uh, I mean, a majority of our listeners are in the United States, and the rest of them are around the world. <laughs> the so. bots that just automatically download our podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah. We just have some bot who's automatically downloading it and redistributing it on pirate networks. Those, it's like, why? Uh, those, whatever, just the archive, archives, everything. The archive everything bots. We got to yeah. archive all the podcasts. And there's like seventeen For of them. Some reason, um, and they download. Apparently, there's hundreds that just auto download things. Yeah, no, there are like, I I, I actually thought about one day sitting there and setting one up myself because mm-hmm. they're super easy to set up, you know, and just set like criteria for it to like just download all the, uh, like just start downloading like a bunch of torrents or something. Yeah, just to see what you get. Just see what I get. Um, Oh, dude, <laughs> this whole Belle Delphine gamer girl bathwater thing. It's oh, like, it's fucking hilarious. Like, it's amazing. I love it so much. Like, listen, when it first came out, I'm like, what the fuck? No, why? And now it's like in full swing and she's legitimately doing this. Like, I don't hate her for it. No, I, I find her hilarious. Like, I, I will state on air, like an official statement, there is no woman on this planet who is attractive enough that her bath water should be sold. No. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there right now. Or their underwear. Or a- anything, yeah. right? Anything like, that, like, 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 why? Kleenexes. But, but, but. Socks. I can't be mad at her. No, God, no. She's made money. They sold out. Like, you can't, you can't, you know, I can't hate the player. Yeah. Nor can I hate, I can hate the game. But I can't hate the player because what she's doing, like she's taking advantage of a thing she has, of, of a following that she has, and she's making the money. Yeah. So like, like on the one hand, I kind of want to go, well, you're taking advantage of people with mental illnesses. But then on the other hand, I want to go. Some of them might, but some, at the same time, this is what makes them happy, and it's not. She's making it's not money. Hurting anybody? Yeah. Fine. I mean, well, there was the, the story of one guy who got hospitalized after drinking it. Yeah, so let that one sink in. Uh, so, why? Okay, because it's soapy? Dude, I don't know. Like, why Why hospitalize? That I don't get. I mean, maybe... But... Like, okay, like, like if you drink soap and shit, it can't make you throw yeah, up. That's yeah, like, like... So maybe that's what it was. Maybe... It maybe, sounds like somebody put him in the... Went and freaked out and went, Oh my God, you don't know what's in there? And put him in the hospital. That's what I would that, lean toward. Or someone did what they should have done. They did their civil duty and beat the shit out of him for it. Yes. Because you be pay better. $30 for a jar. It's like, I don't know, six ounces of her gamer bath water. <laughs> gamer bath. Like gamer girl bath There's water. No like way that's the thing that gets that me. That it's real bath water, unless she added. Like I just do not believe that she literally, fucking. Yeah, like she just sat in the bathtub. I do not believe like, that. Like what really? I believe that she fucking had somebody, her and her friends, filling these up with like soapy tap water, maybe something. Right. like I do not believe they're taking that water heartbeat. from the hose or something. Somebody they were probably sitting around getting high or drunk or something. We're like, you know what? I bet you could fucking sell bath water. I'm gonna sit there and say like like as a um as a troll. At least that's what I hope. As a troll, I can appreciate it, right? Because like I'm a natural troll. I just fuck with everybody. I fuck with people. <laughs> Any pardon me. Anytime I can get away with it, I'll fuck with you, right? Um, and you can just look at my Twitter feed and see instances of me just fucking with people. Um, I just I want to believe that that's where it came from. Well, here's the thing that like. She posted a picture of yeah. her on Instagram, and she was, like, in a really skimpy bikini I, outfit, I I've watched that video. It's fucking hilarious. Where she made, like, the... God, uh, if this, so If this picture gets a million likes, I'll make a Pornhub account and start yeah. uploading videos. That and was And she great totally too. went through with it. 
And it's like amazing how she uploaded, like the video she uploaded, like PewDiePie gets inside of me. And she's just, yes, sit, it's just a picture of her sitting there eating a picture of PewDiePie. Uh, there's another one where uh, Belle Delphine strokes two big cocks and she's petting roosters, you know? Like, it's good. so good. It's like, this is amazing. Like, she's she's this, uh, like, I got to give her credit for that. Like, she's just she a has a private troll. Patreon, too. Where she, she posts lewd pictures, yeah. No, but the no nudes. Well, yeah, no, it's, I said lewd. Yeah, I know, but that's it, what I'm saying. Nudity is implied. Lewd, but no nudes. Yeah. She's apparently, which is fucking mind-blowing. I mean, there's, all right, there's like tons of people who do that. Like, there's a pair of German cosplayers who are lesbians from uh, from there who will, like, they yeah. post a lot of, they, they have a Patreon like that. And uh, Usually you expect that people go to it for nudity. Yeah. Though, which is what surprised me. Yeah, I, I've seen a few cosplayers like, like they same thing, have yeah. their... I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where you got to respect the hustle. Their photo shoots. I, it's perfectly fine. She goes another. She's gone another level. Yeah. Which with uh, essentially the memes with it. And she's a troll. Look, that's the thing. Yeah. That, like the, troll, like she, what did uh, Philip DeFranco call it? Troll economics or troll economics? Tr- troll. Yeah. Troll economics. Troll economics or something. Like I that. don't know, but I fucking saw like it. I got it. I like like as a fellow troll, was like you have you have won this game. Good it's job. Just, it's amazing. I. I really, I, a part of me wants to believe that some of these people bought it for the meme, for the, oh, well, look, I got the bathwater. I mean, I, I, I uh, okay, or I, I could, I'm surprised we haven't seen YouTube videos of, uh, I drink Bella Delphine's bathwater challenge. What? It's gone sexual. I'm sure. Oh <laughs> I remember when that shit was happening. Yes. Like, and that, when that was a big thing. It's like, well, I play like, Minecraft man. gone and sexual. Like what? No, that, what, what, what are you doing? Like my sister's home. Whoa. Gone sexual, gone viral, gone. Wow. Hey, man, you know. No, that's literally the type of videos that would get I posted. Like, Plus, there's that guy that made out with his sister. But. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that that whole clickbait is era. Incest, right? Put your cousin to the test. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you said that way too casually. It's, I've been saying it for years. It was in a Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live episode years ago. Yeah, it does um, sound very much like an SNL thing. Um, anyway, yeah, no, I do. At least I think it's SNL. Something I did not. I did not make that up. It yeah, sounds it very much like that. that. Sounds more like a Mad TV thing, in my yeah, opinion. I cannot. I cannot claim that. Because Mad TV was way edgier, and they were way edgier and way more juvenile. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's a which is why Mad TV was fucking hilarious. <laughs> poopy and potty jokes are funny, but um. Oh, I, I, okay. I just, I, I just love, I, I still, it, it, it makes me laugh so hard that she sold that. Um, there's a, I almost said Ricky. I Burwick. still have mad it's monkeys not. pulled up from, like, <laughs> last from night. D&D last the, night. The, 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 you guys don't know what mad no, is monkeys Mickey. is. Um, it's a level three conjuration spell and pathfinder. And it is one of the best fucking spells ever. You literally saw them in a swarm of screeching mischievous monkeys. And you swarm like, of the screeching monkeys. And sw- monkey swarms are hilarious. <laughs> and I will... I, I, I think if you use them as a GM, you hate your party. Because they are evil little fuckers. I mean, they're only a CR2. Um, um, have you ever heard of the YouTuber Ricky Berwick? No. I might have sent you videos of his before. He's You uh, very well might have, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He's, um, I, I don't know what physical disability he has, but he's, like, barely able to, not really able to walk very well. Um, but he uses that, is, runs a YouTube channel that does comedy, where he acts like a creepy little gremlin person sometimes, because he kind of looks like a creepy little gremlin but he's hilarious and he owns it and he did a video like where he sees he he's like looking at a, a computer screen and he sees her video of uh, gamer bathwater or whatever she says in that video and he's like what the fuck and then the next scene is him in a tub wearing just swim trunks like ah bathwater <laughs> <laughs> and i was like yes you know that's that, fucking great. That almost sounds like something uh, the Ponce man from Retarded Policeman would do. Exactly. That's like, he's like, he's very much like the Retarded Policeman. Like, cause dude, I fucking love Retarded Policeman. Yeah. And if you guys have never seen it. it, go look that fucking series up. If you're one of those little sensitive snowflakes who sit there and get offended at the word retarded, go fucking kill yourself. But, um, like seriously, this oh, it's so hilarious. Retarded Policeman is. 
it, it's like I, it's, it's classic cl- YouTube. It's classic it's YouTube, YouTube before everything had to be um, PC, PC, yeah. and ultra PC. You couldn't swear within the first two liberal, minutes. Conservative, whatever. I don't yeah. fucking care. It's all retarded. If you had but, a political um, opinion, you were allowed to stay on the channel no matter what you said, or yeah. you had, or you have to be super you know before PC. we started censoring people and trying to control everyone's thoughts. Mm-hmm. No, retarded policeman. It's just a series where there's this uh, there's this guy. Um, I don't. Can, We've I talked can't about remember. it. We've totally talked about it before. Yeah, we. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I like. I, I. I don't know if I brought it up on the podcast or you did, but yeah, we've we've well, gone in depth. I'm going to go ahead and explain YouTube it again because that was probably like seventy episodes ago, <laughs> and we've got a lot of new listeners. And so, uh, the Retarded Policeman is. There's a guy on there. Uh, I can't remember his actual name, but he goes by the Ponce Man, mm-hmm. and him and his friends. The Ponce, by the way, he has what Down syndrome, I believe. It's Down syndrome, yeah. And um, but he's. Very, very, he's very much aware of what he has, but he's, he's, he's actually rather intelligent. Mm-hmm. And he gets together with his friends and his parents. His parents are actually in some of the videos where he he plays a policeman who's retarded. And it, it's amazing. Like, he would pull like the, episode, over. the episode that stands out in my mind is, is, is and it's all sketch comedy, of course. Yeah. The episode that stands out in my mind was when he's getting up in the morning, his parents are helping him get ready. And like you know, his his mom's like buttoning up his shirt and whatever, and his dad's like handing him breakfast or whatnot. And his mom pulls out like a bag of green shit. And I remember, make sure you plant this on somebody. <laughs> and yes. he says something about like make sure you pull over. Uh, his dad says make sure you pull over enough like Mexicans or some shit, like really <laughs> awful stuff. Yes. But it's like he sits there and he gets in, and later in the episode, which is like twenty seconds later, because like all of these episodes are like no more than five minutes long. <laughs> Um, back when that was acceptable on back YouTube. when I was accept- well back when that was the norm because you couldn't have a video longer than 10 minutes anyway yeah. um, he goes back and uh, he pulls his parents over <laughs> yes and he, he fucking pulls out the bag of weed oh what's this <laughs> his mom's like that's the weed I gave you this morning the plant on somebody <laughs> oh Okay. <laughs> so fucking great. It's just one of those things. Like, like there's like 37, 38 episodes. There's a playlist. And uh, if I can remember. It, they might have been taken down now. No. I don't, are they still no, up? Yeah, okay. they're still up. Because I know for no, a while some of them were or all of them were. I know the episode with the chicks with the big tits mm-hmm. for a while was private. Uh, okay. Um, Last time I played through, because I play through this, this thing every now and then just when I need a fucking laugh because mm-hmm. it's always good for a laugh. Um, I sat there and played through it and was able to watch all 37, 38 episodes. Or okay, good. I'm glad because I know, yeah. like, it, it, the reason, it, part of the reason it ended, other than just creatively, they, you know, I think they were done with it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the Pon- Ponce has moved on to other things yeah. now. So he, like, he's doing other stuff. And the guy behind the camera and the other people, they've all moved on and started doing other stuff. And um, that, in the fact, like, the, 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 last, the channel, last episode still. was like 2012, 2013. Yeah. And, you know, that was when everything started getting super, super, like, you, yeah, PC. and you literally, sketch comedy doesn't really work on, yeah, on YouTube anymore. If you do it, um, you have to either be really good uh, or you do long videos that get boring after the first five, like two yeah, minutes, yeah, half like, a minute. Like, like the fact that Smosh still tries, it's like endearing. I, it's like, hey, guys, I'm, I'm glad you're still trying, but yeah, oh, your videos man. stop being funny after the first 30 seconds. But uh, yeah, the retarded policeman, those were so good. It's, it's very much what Ricky Berwick is similar to, except he's, uh, I believe he does it himself and with like his parents or yeah yes yeah, i mean that's the way Pons did it you know he yeah. wrote he sat there with his friend and they would sit there and write out comedy sketches together and they had at the time i guess minor he w- i want to say he was on mad tv or something i could swear he <laughs> really? got connected with that but i know they had an episode where jim gaffigan yes who, they had jim gaffigan they had philip defranco yeah they i know um, they had quite a few like minor to actual celebrities to comedians and things like that Um, like it was a legit sketch comedy channel they had somebody else oh they had will wheaton yeah they had will wheaton do an episode and yeah no oh my god if that if if it was on now i guarantee will wheaton would be one of those snowflakes like i can't believe they would take advantage of him and someone with this and you sit there and realize that was it was his idea that was the thing that gets me like it's the Ponce man's idea so it's like let let them go like he knows what he is he's a fucking actor 
it like was great. he's a he's a comedian like that's what he wants to do fucking let him do it and you know what it's hilarious i hope he gets all the ad revenue you know mm-hmm. Oh, see, I, I love going back and like watching those shows too, because um, like I lo- like watching those old videos just because I know he's getting a small portion of that fucking money I give to Google every month, so I don't have to see ads. So, do they are they are they monetized? I have no idea. I can't imagine they are. They probably were for a, like a while, and then Maybe, once people yeah. realized, oh my god, he's making fun of a guy with a mental handicap, like. He is the guy making fun of himself with the mental handicap. It's fine. Let it go. Um, uh, mediocre Films is the channel. Yeah, Mediocre Films is the channel. Was. Which they still do comedy. I, I think I mentioned that when we talked about them before, they used to do this skit where they had this guy who acted like... If they didn't call it out that he was stereotypically Jewish, <laughs> I mean, that's what he comes off as. Right. Maybe I'm the bad guy for saying that, but his name was literally like Yosef Yasmin or Yasmin or something like that. So incredibly Jewish. And he would go and do like interviews at uh, specifically they would do like Comic-Con and things like that. Right. So he'd be talking to people in or anime conventions and then he would do um, that big YouTube convention. Yeah, right. Back in VidCon. VidCon. Yeah. But, you know, again, because that kind of content barely could survive now two, three, four years ago. So a lot of the creators, they would get it and be in on the joke and it was fucking great because he wasn't, he's a terrible interviewer and he was just like, he'd walk and be like, ah, so you're here at the tube con? <laughs> like, and just just be off the wall or the actual guy who did that character, yeah. the red, uh, the uh, mediocre films guy, he'd be doing the interview and then he'd constantly tap them on the chin with the mic. Over and over. That sounds extremely familiar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that, I I love that channel. I, I, you know, just, they don't upload barely at all anymore. You know that that is um, that is something that I would love to do as a as a troll. Like was, however, as a troll with social anxiety, yeah. I don't know that I could do it. But that like type of uh, live interview. Yeah, but like I gotta say, like if I could work that courage up, I know I could make that amazing and fun. I still wish I had, like, in high school or something, I'd taken more drama or um, uh, the, like, improv classes, as, as cliche as that is. I mean... I think that's really... that it, it, That's something that's really helpful for... I, I, I gotta say, I wish in high school that was an option. Yeah. I could have taken, like, uh, woodworking yeah. for, like, the first two years. I, I went out and built a house my senior year. Yeah, was, like, I can go That out was helpful. I made a birdhouse. I could have fucking... That was a little house, but it's still... Like, I could have, I could have done computer. Oh no, I'm talking about uh, me. I, mean, I made a bird. You house. made a bird. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Good job, Joe. You yeah. made bird houses. <laughs> the birds oh, have a God. house to live in. Now the birdies will not be homeless. <laughs> they're they're doing better than some of human people. Yes. So. <laughs> they built all the bird birds houses. Yay! It's the homeless guys sitting there on the side of the road. <laughs> like yeah, that's that's cool. Now you don't have birdies that are homeless. Yay. Yay! Yay for the birdies. Fucking shitty yeah. ass birds suck. <laughs> All right. Actually, we've got a. There's a. I think it's badass. There's hawks that live in a tree behind my house. Right, right. Um, and they will come down. And I really wish I had a fucking decent camera now because I'd like to get a couple good pictures of them. Even though I'm not that kind of naturey picture guy, but they'll literally land on the fence in my backyard. Um. And just chill there. And but if I, you know, try and open the door and get close enough to get a decent picture with my phone, usually it flies off. This is pretty big ass fox, falcon, hawk. I don't know, whatever kind of bird it is. Um, my grandmother sits there and she's been like, "Look at that big ass thing on the fence. Go kill it." <laughs> and I'm like, "Why?" She's like, "It's gonna kill my dog." You're, you're I'm like, fucking, Look, your it's grandma, not that big. Your grandma is like... She's um, literally like, I wish someone would kill it. <laughs> I'm like, Grandma, it's a fucking cool bird. She's oh like, my God. I don't like it. She's like Guru from Dragon Ball Z. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Luke, always a solid bird. Luke, I see a bird. It's pretty. <laughs> Kick his ass. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, why would he... I was like, you'd go to jail for killing that. He's <laughs> like, I'm still. <laughs> and what are you going to do? It's sitting on the fence. Like, are you going to shoot it? Are you that much of a sharpshooter that you can fucking hit it without killing someone behind you? 
Uh, from my porch, yeah, it did go into the dirt. I, I could I could easily shoot it without uh, worrying about the backstop. But here's the problem. <laughs> Can you fucking open the door while the fucker's yeah, sitting to, there? I like, just... Shh, yeah. Like, like, t- I have not planned to shoot this bird. I want to make that clear. Yeah, no. But if I needed not to kill hurting. this bird, I could kill this bird without risking anybody. We're not hurting the bird. It's fine. The problem would be, could I do it without anybody knowing? Because it's a pretty big falcon, and if I had him used like a, a, a pellet gun or something like that, I'd have to hit it right in the fucking head. Yeah. To kill it, um, which this is not something you're killing with a twenty two. You know? No, I could kill it with a twenty two. The could problem again, twenty two makes not a lot of noise. Right. Could probably get away with a twenty two, um, but I, that would be risky. And a twenty two is discharging a firearm in the neighborhood. Luke, just get your fucking silencer on your shotgun. Yeah, I wish. I- Absolutely dead. I need to. Like, that's the thing, you know. That, that's something that that still gets me to this day is that people think silencers are an actual thing. It's like no, they're suppressors. Yeah, it they're, makes it quieter. It does not eliminate. It doesn't. It, yeah, like you see that in movies where it's like pew pew. No, it's more like it, more like it goes from. Boo, 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 boo. The one thing that it does do is it changes the noise enough that realistically you probably wouldn't react like it's a gunshot. Right. Even though they've done study like i say studies but they've done experiments in both like things have happened yeah in cities where a block less than a block away people have discharged guns murdered somebody and nobody reacted right i mean i mean dude like where i used to live where i grew up in mount airy down the road here if you didn't hear a gunshot during the day something was wrong yeah, it was a good day yeah no like like something no no that was a good day it was something was wrong oh. because <laughs> it was one of those things that was so commonplace people were always getting not murdered, not shot. <laughs> shot at. They're fucking terrible shots. But people were like, there was always guns going off. Yeah. Like maybe not like like every probably six to eight hours you'd hear boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. Like it was just normal mm-hmm. where I grew up. So it's like if I didn't hear it in a day, or I realized I didn't hear any gunshots today. What's going on? Yeah. It's you so know, like going on. Yeah. No. Like it was seriously just a part of what we did, and this. I mean. This was back when I was like between 13 and 24 was the big di- big years. And uh, I'm just running around as a 13, 14 year old going, getting into shit and moving around in woods and fucking around. Oh, someone just got shot. Hey, is that a tree we can climb? Yeah. That's, that's all we were fucking worried about. That's just how it went. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, some drug deal went bad or... And that's when you know it's most of the time people just ignore it as, oh, it's probably a car backfiring or, oh, it might have been fireworks or some stupid kids or any number of things that people just write it off. Yeah, no, because we're so used to it, we don't care. Yeah. You know, like. But, uh, yeah, I still, just because it's in a neighborhood, I I would never shoot anything You're in a super white neighborhood, too. Mm, Not not really. Not anymore. It's, uh. Well, what I'm saying is I don't mean like actual – like in white people, like it's one of those suburban areas where it's like if a gun it's, went off, you'd, it's you'd not have a people matter. fucking yeah, freaking it's a pretty, out. It's a pretty it, – it's, yeah. it, it's a nicer area. It's like on the – it's like on the edge. Yeah. But uh, – And see, that's, that, it's kind of weird and interesting what, the way Mount in middle, It's sits. a middle class area, I guess is the best yeah, way to put it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's mm-hmm. less, t- less typically associated with, with white areas. Yeah. Like, but where I lived, um, I lived like like – the street that I lived off of, which was right off of uh, Coloring Avenue, um, that was a divider where on my side and down, it, yeah. was, it was like the ghetto areas, you know, quote unquote ghetto areas. Yeah, you're then, right on the On edge. the other side of that, no, I was in the middle of it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but, oh, yeah, yeah. But on the other side of that street was like the suburbia and area. Mm-hmm. But it didn't matter because we, we all just went wherever the fuck we wanted. But it was like, it, it was weird. And that, like that, that street was the divider. And I was, like, right in the middle of where it began. Like, there was no there was no tapering off. Like, it was mm-hmm. instant boom. That's how it is a lot in, like like I've said before, Cincinnati is very similar to where I grew up in Michigan, Ypsilanti, where you're in that kind of suburban-esque, yeah. um, middle-classy area. And then, boom, you're in a place like uh, where I lived. It was West Willow. Would have been the Mount area for here. Uh, demographically, like, you like, economically yeah. it's very similar where i grew up to where i live now in ohio but so. that's cool man no, i yeah i grew i when i say i grew up in the ghetto i literally grew up in the ghetto like mm. gunshots are normal for us people getting 
you know, occasionally robbed, mugged, drug deals going bad. Like, it was a thing that I lived. I was kind of, I, I knew that there were bad areas <laughs> around where I lived. Right. But I, you know, like, grew up in a fucking sheltered school, like I've said. I lived, right. I, I lived a really good life for a long time. Um, and I was kind of ignorant to, I knew where I didn't go, but I didn't really know, no, like, how bad it, you know, Right, where right. it would be. Yeah. So I still remember one of my friends grew up in West Willow, and we would go over there to hang out with him, pick him up, and stuff like that. Right. And I remember one time talking to my dad. I was like, yeah, we're going over to Marcus's, blah, blah, blah. And, and he's like, oh, where, where are you going? Where does he live? West Willow. He's like, what the fuck are you doing over there? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, growing, growing it up. It went from I've like been over to this dude's house a million times. You know, we drive nothing to my dad be like, you be fucking careful. You keep your eyes open. Like, <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, is as I've grown older and I've grown up and I've grown, I don't know, quote unquote wiser, I, I found if you just treat people like people, they fucking don't bother Generally you. Generally, no. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. It, it's it's when you go to like Chicago, New York, where you go into bad neighborhoods where you shouldn't be. Yeah. That's that's when that, that kind I of. I mean, even then, though, like as long as you're not like looking you, around all paranoid yeah. and shit. You don't make yourself along. look like a target. Yeah, you're just walking along like, hey, man, what's up? Just keep going. Like, just treat people like people. And yeah. most of the time, they leave you alone. Because, I mean, there's tons of areas around here that you like that you wouldn't want to walk down. Like, mm. just, just because, like, violence or stupid shit is just prevalent there. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. So, we are way the fuck off I was going to say, well, this is why we can't have nice things. We're like, hey, Spider-Man episode. So, I watched YouTube today. I watched the YouTube. Did you see the policeman with Downs? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know, I'm so glad we're not eligible for monetization because we would no. totally get every video demonetized. I don't know. I would never. Like, I know there's probably, because I have the same thing. I pay Google, so I don't get fucking ads and stuff. Um, I Okay. So I, I pay actually Google. pay for music. I, I just I pay... happened to get YouTube Red well, with Well, yeah, it. that's how it works. Yeah. Um, because apparently that's all in one thing now um, yeah. called YouTube Premium or whatever. Um, that actually reminds me. There is one place uh, that I do get ads. Mm. And it's still something Google hasn't fixed. If I pull up my Shield TV right this second. And uh. from the home screen, I hit the button to talk to Google Assistant and say... Give me this YouTube video or give me a random YouTube video or something like that. Um, it doesn't it, log it, you in. Well, I'm logged in. Like, it shows me as logged in. The video comes up in my history. But if there's pre-roll ads or any ads you on it, them. they play. And I'm like... <laughs> That's frustrating. Yeah, like, like come on, Google. What, what's up with... Like, you take money from me, so I don't have to see this. That's Why are you doing this to it's me? It's weird that it kind of... It's like it doesn't run it. With you logged in, but I mean it does because yeah, no, it told like, in your history because like it's in my like my Google account is on that device, yeah. so anything I do on that device that is eligible to show up in an activity or a history somewhere, mm -hmm. it shows up. Playing a game, watching a movie, whatever. Um, but yeah, YouTube like search result, voice search results. I'm um, using Google Assistant. If there's an ad on the video, I have to deal with an ad. Yeah, it's I I really like it, it's. It's funny. The, I've, it's been a couple of years that I've had this. And before that, I was running Adblock anyway. Right. So I never, I haven't seen ads in years on YouTube. So when I do, other than people putting their own advertisers. Right, yeah. Videos, like which, stuff like that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. That's that's completely fine. So if I see a YouTube video like someone else's account or device or something, and then ads start playing, I'm literally like, what the fuck is this? What is going this on is here? This is bullshit. Or yeah. if I'm using another service and I get an ad, yeah. I, I'm like immediately like, oh, well, fuck this. I'm done with this. I'm not, I'm not spending the 30 seconds or 15 seconds or however long. There's put, fuck, it's why I like, I don't fuck with Hulu or anything. I, I'm only fucking with Hulu, and I don't do it occasionally because it's like a dollar a month for me. Yeah. Until like November because I pick that up. So it's like, <laughs> I, that's the only reason why I fuck with Hulu. Yeah. Like, like it's about, it's a 23 minute video and like a minute and a half for ads. I'm like, okay, for access to this entire fucking video on demand library, I can deal with a, with a minute or so of ads per video. For a dollar a month. So I wouldn't, I don't think I'd ever put an ad on a podcast because. 
I mean, I don't it, know if, but that's the thing is like I uh, I've mentioned before Joe Rogan I I listen to on YouTube, the official podcast I listen to on YouTube. Joe Rogan's podcasts are like seventeen hours long. Yeah, they're like you know they run for two three hours, but at the same time, still an ad break in there breaks up the flow of that conversation. Right, and you can put an ad break like every three minutes. There's ten minute videos on YouTube with like five or six ad breaks. It's insane. Um, that's one thing I definitely don't want to like. You know, I've always said. No, strictly yeah. anti ads, right? There's nothing on our website. We don't even have fucking trackers, and you can go to the website yeah. right this second with something like uh, uh, you're at uBlock Origin or like Brave Browser or something. You will not see that number change. Yeah, we don't store cookies. We don't do anything now, unless you're someone like me who has to log into the site. You don't get anything, right? Mm -hmm. I think the only thing you might get is a session cookie if you load up one of the articles that holds the uh, that has like a embedded thing in it for you can play the podcast from there which that just stores where you're at in the podcast in case you have to navigate away or whatever um so that's like the only thing you'll get like i don't fuck with cookies i don't fuck with ads i don't fuck with tracking i don't care any about that you know like the only tracking i do is keeping track of who you know how many downloads we get in a month which that's not even something i do that's something my our pod host does for us mm -hmm. so and that has nothing to do with the website like i don't put ads on any websites i create if I can avoid it, that's why I pay twenty goddamn dollars a month to Media Temple, so I don't have to think about that. Yeah, I, I won't do it. Um, when it comes to YouTube, uh, if if we could monetize the videos, I might, but I would make sure that it was only pre-roll ads and not anything in the middle. Yeah, because like you said, it breaks up ads, everything. Just I, I, I can't. Pre-roll ads would be the maximum I do because I don't. I mean, I do want to make money from this. But if we can avoid it, I'd like to not make money that way. Yeah. <clears throat> because, I mean, ads do pay for things. you got to pay for something somehow. But I'd rather, like, people say, hey, you're entertaining. Here's a buck, you know. Or some companies say, hey, you have an outreach. Here's uh, here's some money to shill our, shill our underwear. Our box of food or our underwear. Or yeah, something like that. Or shaving know? shit or whatever. Which, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I totally you know, that. that would be fine. I said before, I'd do it for the free product. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, give me some free food. I'll do it. Uh, there's apparently this... Guys, go eat Twinkies. Place They're amazing. around. And only, like, like I, I've only, I only know of one podcast that they've sponsored. Other than now, apparently, it, from official, now official, they're going to apparently, quote unquote, sponsor. Sponsor as he sends them uh, the items. Um, it's like uh, the... Uh, flash a flute no it's a a butt plug that's a whistle <laughs> so he sends a box of them to you and you know you shill the product <laughs> you sell have it <laughs> that's amazing the butt whistle yeah i want one that's... i don't even need one i i don't have a need to, i don't have a reason to even have one nobody has a reason to have one i like but i find them hilarious that's amazing i i want a butt whistle <laughs> a flash of flute all right so anyway <laughs> not sponsored but you know i find it funny i yeah no if we talk we find some funny shit we're gonna fucking talk about it that's what we do so we went and uh, so was the point that we were here for we went and saw uh spider-man far from home spider man um because we have to right yeah, like like marvel that's shills. what we do we we really are we 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 suck marvel's dick and we don't get anything in return no. Just load a, load on our faces. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Face, neck, and chest, as yeah. Kevin Smith would say. Yeah, no. Um, and we have to say that because he's our, he's our inspiration. He's the reason we fucking started doing this. Um, and I got bored. I was tagging him. Like I, started, I was tagging oh. him in every post. No, like, that's fine. Yeah, I get anymore. that. I might set up the automatic thing to tag him now. <laughs> like every fucking post that we make, that's automatically great. tag that, uh, Kevin Smith on Twitter. Um, but anyway... We went and saw it. Um, one thing that kind of sucked for me uh, before I got to see a movie was some idiot on Twitter spoiled the uh, ending for me. Yeah. Because he was going around doing that to people. And then I, I sat just, there. just like message you or? No, he, he was, I, I mentioned, hey, I'm going to go see Spider-Man. He's like, Spider-Man's identity gets revealed. I'm like, is it Bruce Wayne? I bet it's Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah, so he's that, just got that, the that hashtag thing. Spider Man and he's just uh, well, anybody who posts about it. Is... He, I don't know what he was I guess he was just looking for anyone mentioning Spider Man far from yeah. home and then he's just going around spoiling it for people. So that guy was a bit of a dick bag, but it's okay. I got my revenge because I sat there and pissed him off so much he just he just abandoned the account. Because, you know, killing with kindness is a is a thing that you can do. And trolling is an enough. art form. And he was no Rembrandt. So 
you know, I just trolled him back and it was fun. Um, but yeah, uh, I got that spoiled for me. Kind of sucked, but the movie was so much better. Yeah. So it didn't matter. Like it, it, I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed it either way and it was fun. Plus that, that's not even a central part to the film. No, I mean, well, he spoiled the actual ending, yeah. like what actually happened at the end of. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh yeah, you know this, this, and that, and this is fake, and that's not real. And it's like, okay, yeah. Which obviously, probably we're gonna spoil it. Yeah, we probably <laughs> cut something in before we start talking about it. Um. So yeah, if you guys don't want to have that movie spoiled because you haven't seen it yet, because you know you're busy or you have a life that doesn't involve. Uh, a million and one comic book movies. Yeah. Stop listening now because we've given you like 40 minutes of entertainment already. Unless you don't care. You, yeah, Unless you're one of those people who one. just doesn't care and you're listening to us just for the sake of listening to us. Yeah. Or, you know, we're just background noise for you, which we make great background noise because mm-hmm. you can sit there and have us laugh like, what the fuck are they laughing at? And you go back and, <laughs> and find out, oh, it wasn't funny. <laughs> yeah, no, you just, <laughs> I'm disappointed. Like, these guys used to be funny. Now they're just asshats. <laughs> we, they were never funny. Oh, yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah. It it's was... nice to dream. Yeah. <laughs> we think we are and that's what's important hey we're laughing and that's what matters exactly. god damn it we pay for all of this <laughs> I pay for the internet connection I pay for the electricity I pay for like the equipment you pay for the fucking hosting fuck that we're gonna make and jokes. for the equipment and for the equipment you bought the chairs and the furniture so yeah and you bought the, this mixer board that uh-huh. hasn't failed yet it is still working thank god I mean, to be fair, we got like a year and a half out of that Behringer before we stopped being compatible with Windows 10. And I, I don't think there's anything actually wrong with that board. It's just Windows 10. Windows 10 said, fuck you. I'm not working with it anymore. So, But, yeah, of course. Um, but Spider-Man. Spider-Man was a fucking great. good movie. It was a great fucking flick, man. Personally, I do. I got to say, I, I, I think I really did like it more than uh, Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed this one more. Um it's, yeah, I, I kind of like it because like the way it falls in the timeline is after um, after Infinity. There was a lot more emotion to this one. Like, after the first Endgame. one had emotion, but it wasn't yeah, it wasn't as uh, kind of like. Well, the first one was was like it was the non origin origin story yes. in a way. Like they didn't go in depth as like they didn't show Uncle Ben dying for like mm-hmm. the billionth goddamn time. They didn't show he I, had I been Spider Man, but you could tell it's very very new. Yeah, like he, like there was he, he was in Civil War before Homecoming. Mm-hmm. He was yeah, you know, so he he was known in a sense, right? Yeah, and uh, so Homecoming I think did the origin story well because it threw the origin story out and just said here's Peter Parker. He's a kid doing things with spider powers. Yep, have fun, and it's like. Cool, because he was like I said, like I said, he debuted like three movies ago, and I mean, he just got in the suit from yep. uh, Tony Stark. Yep, uh, which in this movie, obviously, it's a big, uh, big thing that Tony's gone. Yeah, Tony they, is is I mean, because it's after Endgame, yeah, it's after dead. all of that shit, like it's after the blip, as they call Thanos' snap. So mm-hmm. it's like, it, it's it's. Uh, it's very it is interesting I, I love the way I love the explanation they fl- flat out like explain the blip you know how it affected normal people that you know these all these people 50% of the population which is all out. of a sudden were gone Ooh. for five years and then came back yeah so anybody who's their age that didn't get get uh, snapped or blipped whichever way you want to call it they're five years older now. Yeah, it's it's weird. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was it, it's. I mean, that's that's a really that would be a huge shock. Yeah. Um. Like most of Peter's like in math elite group, they were all snapped except for the the one younger guy who was five year five. Like he, if they're juniors, he wasn't even in high school yet. Right. Uh. And now he's in their class. Is you know five years older. It, it's yeah, it's it's super super weird the way mm-hmm. it all went down. But like the way they explained it, it was just kind of like, oh, this is kind of cool. This is really perfect. Plus the way they explain it through, uh, like a high school um uh, announcement video. With oh two man, kids, that, that was that was two fantastic. high school students. That was fucking funny, that man. Dude, that that kid just cracked me up, man. He's sitting there like we had to do it all over again. It was fucking bullshit. In the middle oh of my the god, fucking, in the middle of the semester. Language. Bullshit. It's the last day of school. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my reaction. I love exactly. it. It's the last day of school. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Nobody's listening. <laughs> no one watches this shit anyway. 
Uh, yeah, they that once again like setting him in as a you know a, a high school student. They do it so fucking well in these. Yeah, movies. No, they did I mean, it so well in Homecoming and in this movie even more so. Uh, even though the high school parts of it are are only in the very very beginning, because then they go on their trip. Yeah, they're no, in it, Europe the whole like, time with his class. It's very much not super heavily touched on, and that's fine because it doesn't need to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they they go from that to you know the trip to they, where they where are they going? They go to Italy. Uh, they, Venice, Venice, yeah. I think was the first stop. But, Venice is where they yeah. start, and they're in this rundown shit ass hotel where there's like a fucking inch of water on the floor as they're coming in. Some boards set over the ground. Yeah, it's amazing. It's um, something you said about it, um, where the first like half of the movie, first first uh, up until like. I, I would say, like, the first act. The, yeah, the first act into, like, the beginning of the second act. Um, it's it's done in a way that it's almost... It's not it's not quite confusing, but it's it I mean, keeps you off balance, I would I say it's, I would say it's at least a little confusing, because I think in order for it's, you to be off balance, you got to be a little confused, right? It's fa- yeah, they move like pretty it, quickly. It, 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 I, I described it as being disconjointed. Yeah. Which is not like in this particular like context, it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It's just it's you're very like, what's going on? You're, and you're then off as you balance. Get, as you get deeper into the movie, things start getting explained, problems yeah. are getting solved. Uh like they, they told the story in such a good way that you have no fucking clue what's going on for a little while, and then things start to fall into place and you're like okay. Yeah, it's you know, like if you have are any Spider-Man fan, you know Mysterio is a villain. He's a bad guy, yeah. And he comes in and he's very much a hero, but Jake Gyllenhaal, the way he plays him when he's fooling everybody, Peter Parker, um, Nick Fury, right, right, everybody, and then uh, uh, specifically with Peter Parker, it gets pretty, like, he's he's almost on the level of, like, Tony Stark was as, like, um, almost a mentor. He's, he's a friend to him. He's somebody he can... Uh, talk to about the superhero stuff and right, understand right. and, and right. um now i do take some issue with that like this is the only real part of the movie i take any issue with and it, it might just have something to do with the disconjointed way they told the story i take issue with how quickly that developed i because i felt like there was no actual build up it was just oh he shows up he's fighting a thing and now they're best friends they talk pretty quickly. Uh, I actually kind of, in a way, partially write that up to be. Uh, I, just, I, I, mean, I, I, I get it. I could write I'm it off as Peter it. just being like, you know, the kid. And partially an because he's still figure. a kid. And yeah. This is the adult figure. But he is just had his mentor, the adult figure in his life. Basically, his only father figure was just killed. And then this person comes in. In front of him, by the way. In front of him, yeah. And he didn't technically get killed so much as, like... He sacrificed himself. Yeah. Whatever. He is dead. He is dead, dead. And now, on top of losing that person in his life, he is... Everyone keeps telling him, you're going to step up as the new Iron Man, right? Your Spider-Man is being... This is the new Iron Man. Right, yeah. He's got the 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 Iron Spider suit. You look like Iron Man. Like, all of this pressure is put on him. Yeah. All of just... Everyone's asking him. They do a a news conference at the beginning of the movie where they're like, so what are you going to do now? Are you the new Iron Man? So are you going to protect the fucking world? How do you you... feel about Tony Stark being dead? Yeah. What dick you are? All of this pressure is put on him, and it's like this is the first thing he can cling to, almost in less a father figure and more like a uh, an older brother, uh, someone who has been there, someone who understands what he's going through, and and I it was almost like because it ends up all being a lie and all being an act, like like J- the character. Um, uh, oh God, I can't remember his name other than Mysterio. Mysterio. Um, oh, um, his actual name. Yeah. Oh, uh, is it Eric? Me. Uh, no, it's not Eric. It I can't it's, remember. Uh, oh, oh my God, it's right there. <laughs> it hurts. It's right there. Just Google it. It's in front of my face. So, it's like, hello. He's almost too good of an actor of just it's like, being so uh, manipulative. Look, it's right in front of my fucking face. He's waving at me and sa- speaking to me, but it's in a language I can't understand. But the old, I'm thinking of Riddler. Like, I want to call him Edward Nigma, <laughs> but it's... It's not. It's Mysterio, but uh, um, he's almost he's almost too good at manipulating. Quentin, Quentin Beck, Quentin Beck. 
Yes. There we go. So, I didn't have to look it up. We're good. So he manipulates Peter, and it's like, like I, I'm watching the movie, like you said, like I said, I'm, I know he's a villain, right? And yeah. I'm watching this relationship, and that. Hundred percent believable. Like I'm like I, the emotions that the I emotional would, like state said, that Peter because, is going in. Because I, like I said, I they, they gave zero build up, which I kind of give it. You know, I get it. I think they but had. I, just, I give it they around had enough. I gave it eighty five percent believable. And they to me, I I I was hundred percent with it, and then. Uh, and maybe a little bit fast to what ends up happening is Peter essentially hands over to him um, the shield, Edith. the suit of armor that no, Iron Edith. Man wanted to put. I know, but the suit of armor Iron Man wanted to put around the whole world, yeah. which is Edith, which controls defense satellites that which, have drones for some reason. Which, by the way, Edith stands for even dead, I'm a hero. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> what an arrogant Tony Stark. Head, you know? <laughs> um, I just... I was I, I maybe that was a little fast, but even in that scene, he, Peter like he's like he wants he doesn't want the responsibility. He does any no. excuse he can get. Like if if Nick Fury had said, "I don't think you could you can handle that." Hand me the glasses. I think he probably would have fought himself, but ultimately probably would have handed him over. Right. Even though he knew. He knows Tony doesn't doesn't want Nick Fury to have this. Right. He knows that they, they, there's very few people that even remotely could come close. And the only one that I can think of, and probably Peter Parker would be able to think of at the time, would be Captain America. And he's gone. He quit. He's an old man now because reasons. Time fucker. Because they fucking broke their own rules on the time travel thing. Um, but it's like... No, I, I kind of, it, it was like, it was even just, no, this is what he wanted. Oh, no, he wanted me to pick the next person. He knew I'd be good to pick the next person. Yeah, here you go. Take him. And then I love that he's Jake Hall's character. And Beck is like, no, no, it's too much. And and, and he like kind of refuses. Finally, he's like, all right, I'll take this responsibility. And he's like, thank you. This is an honor. And then a whole scene, I'm just going, no, you manipulative asshat. Yeah, like when, you evil son of starts, a bitch. When all the holograms, the randoms start breaking down. I'm like, oh, and then they're they're no. oh my god, the flip of when they, they're like toast, toast. He's like nah, and he's like yeah, toast. And then I'm like you evil son of a bitch. The amount of manip- the the it's uh, it, it's sociopathic. Like oh, absolutely. To the degree, he ha- he has the way he acts is like it. it oh, it's great. I I loved the way they built that character. Um, is his egomania yeah, no, like it, it? It is really he's really done. He's done really well. Like yeah, I, I have Jake Gyllenhaal's fucking awesome. He's a great fucking actor, man. Mm-hmm. And like the way he played that and the way they wrote Mysterio in mm-hmm. general was like I loved it. Like it it's, really did. It's like he's playing two different roles the same in the, same, the same movie. Yeah, at the same time almost. Yeah. Like it, it's great. It's fantastic. And then like after after that facade falls, you can mm-hmm. see his slow descent, almost almost a slow descent into madness in a sense. I th- because like, he get, you I, realize I, it's always there. Yeah, yeah, like it's like whoa, you're fucking crazy, bro. Because <laughs> like you said, it's all like it's all that ego, it's an ego maniacal bullshit. And of course, you know he ends up sitting there. Everything is faked through extremely convincing holographic technology to the yeah. point where the holograms have some somehow have physical properties. Well, the holograms don't. There's nothing physical about the holograms. What the they use the drones in every way to cause them. That's the one thing that does break down for me a little bit. Yeah. Um. Is I don't the way the holograms interact it with the real world. It's and like, they're using the drone like if the the monster the, the the giant like water monster shoots out a bunch of water and knocks down pillars. The excuse is it's drones using like rockets and machine guns. Or for like a, a, a force cannon, a sonic cannon type yeah, thing. right. Or air cannon, whatever that's using to like blast a, a force forward to knock over things. It's a Fushroda, it's fine. Exactly, it's Fushroda. It's, um, um, it's Skyrim magic. It's Wall of Force. Um, <laughs> it's force push. It's it's whatever the drones do to knock over pillars and like blow things up. And right, things. right. It's kind of like... It's Tony I, Stark magic. Some of that, yes, but I at some point... You gotta, I, I gotta like, like, I, I, like the water thing is what really breaks it. The water thing, and the fire elemental absorbing shit. Those are the two things where it kind of breaks down for me. Uh, to me, like, yeah, because like, the shit that gets pulled into it. Yeah, how are they breaking that? Well, there's, 
there's flamethrowers, but it's like, are are they hot enough to just completely melt that steel yeah, like, beam like in when seconds? You sit there, when you sit there and you think, like, how hot does yeah. it have to be in order to melt that steel beam into the being of that, into that being? Yeah. Or and, at and least course, melt it into slag so that course, it's just under the, on like the ground. You, like you said, the water, like, people were getting fucking soaked. Like, this thing's swinging its arm, and it's like, it's like a wall of water hitting it. So how are they replicating they, that? You they, know? they do show them, like, the way they go through the water. Right. And that was the biggest tell at the beginning of the movie, which obviously you don't think about at the time. No, no, you is don't. Is that the way they move through the water, it's very much looks like multiple mm-hmm. being, like multiple things. And then it busts out. And they show the, them later in the movie the way they kind <laughs> of... Yeah, blow like, the water up with the sonic cannons and things. But yeah, it, if it's swinging its arm and soaking everything, yeah, like, uh, like that's where it breaks down for a me, little really. bit. But ultimately, uh, because like it's supposed to be a hologram, yeah. But then that water is real, right? So how mm-hmm. are you getting the water? I mean, maybe some of them have super soakers. Is, is okay. what I you could you, they, do. They have just, fire it, hoses. It, it, they they did a very good job at the or fire hoses. They did a very good job at the at the end of the movie of. When the drones are revealed, they do all the things that the monsters were doing right. so that you see, oh, that's how they did Oh, there's ones with, like, massive flamethrowers. Oh, they're using, like, the sonic cannons or whatever they were. Fucking the force push We'll, we'll call them sonic they cannons because that makes sense. They through the water super fast. Um, the, you know, the, the, the machine guns ship through... Um, marble and bust things. So it's like, it shows all that stuff, but the one thing they didn't show is, I bet there has to be some of them with fucking, like I said, super soakers or fire hoses that they're blasting water through. Like, they'd it has have to. to be, right? Like, um, like, you can't just have a thing swing a fake water arm and then real water comes out. Yes. You know, like, it doesn't work Do that way. That's not, that's not how reality works, even with magic, you it, know? Uh, it didn't. It didn't pull me out of the movie though. At no, all. it didn't. Even like, in the ending, when like it's revealed and I everything. Gotta, I mean, I didn't even think about it until literally just now. When I we had started no, talking about how weird exactly. it was. You know, like I had no. The the fact that the twist was drones. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Drones and extremely high grade and the holographics. Holograph. Like I knew it was going to be something with either a mental thing, mm-hmm. which if he was doing that to that many people. I was thinking, oh my god, how powerful did they make yeah, like, Mysterio? Like, is he like Thanos level powerful now? Yeah, because like, he could do what, be pretty big. I, like I, I don't, I don't know exactly how big he would get in the comics or the, in the, in the. I remember um, in the I, cartoon I he would do like a city block. Yeah, with but, but, a lot of different his little mind control here, yeah, his illusion yeah. cubes. But, but you're going up to a point where like now it's the world, you know, He's, like, yeah, like a whole city through Venice, like up, up and down the canals and everything, like through fucking that's like, crazy. Like sitting there, or like like at the end of the movie where he's doing it to like London, yes, like yeah. the entirety of London, and then eventually the world. Yeah, and and you know if you're looking from the outside, you're seeing. It. So I was like, wow, they made him. Fucking his shit powerful in hey, this. Hey, hey, am I the only one who thought he was a ripoff Doc Strange when he was fighting Yellow Oh, God, Mantles? yes. Yeah, that was oh my, my God, immediate man. thought is I'm so glad that someone, that it was Aunt May who said, was that the Strange guy or whatever <laughs> she could? No, yeah, like, his name is Doctor Strange May and it wasn't Doctor Strange. <laughs> Like, like that. I'm, yeah, I'm so glad that they got that meta in there. Like that I was guarantee that's where... Like, even though they don't specifically say it, I'm sure that's where the the people who came up with his his suit and his tech, they must have stolen those. Like, oh, yeah. hey, we'll use Doctor I mean, like Strange. The, like there, there are times the where he's sitting there holding his hands and, up. Yeah, yeah, the symbols form. And it's like he's got the green energies. Like, I really – I'm kind of hoping that in the sequel to Doctor Strange, he mentions something about, you know, that knockoff – fucking wizard or something knock off wizard yeah not, not yeah because it's like no motherfucker that's nine strange like yeah yeah no it's like, like I, I hope he's like i knew it the whole time some shit like because he's dr strange he's an arrogant bastard he would say something like that although to be fair in his position now, he probably he, does know the whole yeah time. he would like, completely that's not know. magic i i have when he was so much like Doctor Strange, I half expected that's how the twist would be found out. Is Doctor Strange just flies in with the cape and is like, that's not magic. And then just flies away. <laughs> and Peter's like, what? What the fuck? Are you going to help? Yeah. <laughs> boom. And it just goes through the portal. And boom. He, just, he, has, he, has yeah. like, he has like a smirk or something. Like, exactly. Ah, bruh. And then he, he just pokes his up. head out. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. That would exactly. be me. Like, not not Doc Strange. He's busy. I'd poke my head through a portal. That's not real. Poof. 
Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> but it was great. Like, I love that they tied. There's when they reveal everything. Yeah. In that scene where he's like the toast and it's done really, really well. They tie everything back to um, the old other Marvel movies. Like they tie yeah, like, Civil War where um, or not some. Yeah. yeah, yeah Civil the beginning War, of Civil War, Civil War is mentioned. Um, fucking just various things that Iron Man has done. It's, it's barf tech. Barf tech. Where he shows himself. It, it does that. They did the age. Uh, age thing with um, Robert Downey Jr. Yep. Where he's, you know, a younger and his parents leave and die that night and he's going to use that for whatever. And then um, Beck is like, this was my technology. It was, it, it's the history of Tony Stark using things other people have come up with and right. not, not using them for like what they were evil, intending. Essentially. Yeah. Or, no. or, or, you know, just in general, military, whatever Beck was going to use it for. And firing when he you know argues with Tony about it, yeah, um, it's that kind of typical uh, sciencey villain type thing. Yeah, Very uh, and much then the so. one guy from I love the callback to fucking the first Iron Man. Yeah, the guy that um, oh fuck, what's his name? Uh, the villain, the military general. No, 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 not the military general. He's um, he's Tony Stark's second in command at the oh, company. Oh, yeah, the um. um I just it, again tip of my fucking tongue. Oh, the character's he's not name. Important he's not. He died. He literally in the first, first goddamn Marvel movie. <clears throat> but he's yelling at the dude. He's like, Tony Stark built this in a cave with scraps. <laughs> yeah, that's that was the military general that was. No, yelling he's at. not a general. That's Tony. Oh, Colonel or whatever. No, he's Tony. Well, he Stark's was in a military guy. uniform. Mm, he was in a suit. Okay, well that doesn't matter because he's unimportant anyway. Yeah, no, no, yeah, he. Was, I get you uh, though. I just, I wish I could remember the fucking character. Doesn't name. matter because fuck that guy. He died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's she's shouting, and that's the scientist who had built. He came up with the drones. Yeah. Um, I fucking, I just, I, I, I kind of loved all those callbacks and things. It was, it was a really well constructed um thing. I mean, you know. We did spoil the movie a bit. We didn't talk about the plot, so you know what? That's fine. Yeah, I think it put, was a put good something movie. in the very beginning where we say, "Yeah, um, we're gonna spoil." <laughs> Before we mention, we're gonna spoil it. Nah, I don't feel like that. That's too much headling. <laughs> that's that. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> put a note then. <laughs> I do all the work. Fuck you. You do that's, it. That's fine. All right, fine. I will. I'll record it and <laughs> I'll give you the just fucking video. Strap it. Here, oh, you no, do it. I, I can't do the video. Here, exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like here, you take the fucking video with you, asshole. <laughs> I put the YouTube title on it. <laughs> um, uh, well, we didn't spoil it too much. Uh, there were some plot points we talked about. Um, we no, didn't. I just. Um, I, I, ending we're gonna credit spoil scene. it now. We're talking ending about credit it now. scene. You know. Uh, well, the the one thing I got it before we get there. Yeah. My favorite part of the movie, uh, and I think the coolest. That Spider-Man's been yet in the MCU. Are you talking about when he's fighting through all the drones? When he fights through the drones. Oh my god! And yes, he, that is that 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 was the part of the movie that made it like made his approach into the Spider Verse, because Into the Spider Verse is probably the best Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. I watched and there's that so again. much stylized action in it. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, like this puts it on that level almost. Like, well, Into the Spider Verse being animated, it's much, much, it's much more easy. It's more reasonable that they would have that kind of because how mu how active Spider Man is, right? Agile, the way he moves, everything. And, and of course, you've even got, doing in that, that movie, digitally in is that difficult. movie. You got like eight or nine different Spider Man all doing exactly. this shit at once. I rewatched that and. I still love that movie. I still, it's still one of my favorite Marvel movies, quote, not Marvel Universe movies, but as far as Marvel movies go. But I didn't, it takes a long time before it hits that level. Right. Like, there's, there's a lot, things there's a lot it, of build up. But that movie, I think, is amazing because of its heart. Yeah. With that, this that, scene in dude, particular. That fucking movie punches you in your goddamn dick yeah. twice. Yeah. This scene in particular <clears throat> um, was like, it was. It was so fucking just adrenaline was, edge of your seat. It was like, well done where you it's not like quite like Transformers. Right. Where you can't tell the action. It's fast. Uh, but it's like it's not like Venom where it's yes. just messy. It's not a big just 
CGI slapping. Fights. It's not Transformers where it's just CGI slapping against each other. You yeah, can it, follow not... Spider-Man's like where how he's moving, what he's doing to like take these drones out and everything, and it's just fucking cool. Like it, it very much reminded me of the animated series when he's just doing Spider-Man shit and he's he's jumping around, he's backflipping, he's swinging off of shit, going through things. You know, I using... mean, I think it was even better than they've ever done in the animated series. Oh, the no, closest absolutely. thing is to me Enter the Spider Verse, where they're showing like at the no, very this... end of the movie where he's just flipping around through yeah. the different dimensions and just knocking take, shit and other shit. And take I... like the most <clears throat> amazing gymnastics physically possible and put that up to 10 no no crank that shit to like 60 like yeah. it's so fucking and then, insane and then flinging this you know the fact that he's uh you know shooting webs and smashing these drones and riding them and it was it was fucking cool i mean it, it was definitely the highlight of the flick yeah above anything else yeah like it was so amazing there's just so much going on but like you said you you keep track of it like you yeah. know what's going on it moves very quickly, but you're not like... It's not like where you're watching Taken and Liam Neeson needs 32 jump cuts just to jump oh, God, a fucking yeah, fence, no, you know? it's nothing like that. Um, it's not like... Or it's not like, like you said, of Transformers, where instead of seeing the robots smashing together, you're seeing that sort of kind of off in the background, and there's just a fucking white dude running across the screen, like, you know, like, and <laughs> screaming, like, ah! Like, shut the fuck yeah. up, Sam Witwicky. This... It, there's a lot of times <clears throat> in Transformers where it gets too chaotic to follow. Yeah. This... It's it's close. It tugs that line, but it's really it, yeah, it, really well done. Where you follow what's happening, it, it definitely toes that line between too chaotic and mm. you know just just enough. And but it you toes know, being it, what Spider Man is. Yeah, but it toes it in just the right way. Yeah, like it's just it's just on that side of chaos where it's mm -hmm. like oh my god, but it's it's right it's right there where you're like this is chaotic, but that was fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> Because you can was, see, you can actually see what's going on. So yeah, go, yeah. go I, see this 100%, movie. Hundred uh, percent. Definitely <clears throat> check this movie out. They address things that haven't been addressed before, like Spidey Sense. Yeah, um, Peter Tingle. Peter Tingle. Oh, oh god. my god! I was so mad they didn't call it Spider Sense by the end of the movie, but Peter Tingle's still fucking funny. Uh, Happy Hogan comes back, who's one of my favorite characters in oh, the Marvel. Yeah, Happy is awesome, man. Happy's fucking great. Happy is amazing, um, and like, I, I and like, I love that after the, all of the shit with Jake Gyllenhaal, because he's the he's he reluctantly is the perfect character to be that older brother kind of person to yeah, yeah. to Spider Man. So when he shows up and they have like he finally Peter breaks down, like I you know he misses him. He's got all of this fucking pressure and everything, and Happy's just like he was my best friend. And he was everything they say he is, but he was neurotic. No, he, he second guessed. He straight up said like everything he did. He second guessed himself. He, he straight up said he like had he no was a mess. Yeah, he was, he was a, a mess. mess. He was a fucking mess. He second guessed everything he did. It was so good. But you know the thing he didn't second guess? You. Choosing you. Every. Yeah. It was like it was like oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right like you're like, like oh it. my god um they and I. You know, they, it, it's a point in this movie. They're like, who's going to be the next Iron Man? Who's going to stick up? Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it, is it going to be Spider-Man? By the end of the movie, he's totally 100% doing that. Like, he's doing the Tony Stark thing where he's building the suit and customizing it. And you see Happy look behind and smirk. Like, he's got that smile. Yeah, like, he's like, fuck this yeah. Is, he's got that this, pride, this man. Is, yeah, this, this, this kid is, is going to do it. This yeah. is the guy. This is the one. Which, I, I, which kind of surrises me because I thought, I thought they'd go a different direction with the MCU going forward. But. Apparently not. This I mean, I'm doing. completely okay with it, though. You know, like I'm, I'm 100 on board with it. There is one thing ultimately that does disappoint me in this movie, and it's not something that they did bad or anything. Uh -huh. Um, they mention the multiverse. That's right. where his excuse of where he came from, which they laugh about because how fucking stupid is that? And then they they mention the multiverse fucking when when Nick Fury is told. Uh, about it and then later on when Quentin Beck is feeding him more bullshit and he cuts off and Nick Fury's like this is a bunch of bullshit or whatever he said <laughs> yes. was so fucking great it was fan oh, fucking God. fantastic but they mentioned the multiverse they even call this reality Earth 616 uh -huh. which is what the base Marvel it, reality it is. is yeah and then it all ends up being bullshit I was like no I want the multiverse give it to me 
Oh. I was I was kind of <clears throat> mad. I was like, no, this is how we get uh, fucking uh, Miles Morales. And and I want Enter the Spider-Verse to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And Let it happen. Yeah, but it's all it, good, it, even it's all if good. it doesn't, I was still like, that's still fucking awesome. Yeah, it's totally. that, that 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 little, <clears throat> like, e- like, call. That callback, that yeah, nod. That yeah. nod to the comics is yeah. great. And, uh, overall, just fantastic fucking Great movie. fucking flick. Um, even though it was spoiled for me. By some dickhead on Twitter, yeah, who was smashing hose before my ball drop, even though he's only twelve. <laughs> um, pathetic. You know, it's, it was a great fucking movie. Yeah. I enjoyed every second of it, even mm. the shit at the beginning where I had no clue what was really going on. Yeah, like it, none of it affected how good this movie was. It's a lot of like you're kind of torn <laughs> between you know, oh yeah, it, it sucks. This kid's he got all this pressure and he doesn't know what he's want to do. It's uh, it's it um again is the returning the constant theme for spider-man of, yeah with great power comes great responsibility and they never say it in this movie or anything no but, but it's that's so literally heavily what he's implied ba- yeah that's what yeah. he's battling with yeah is i don't want this responsibility i don't, I don't know what to this do power. F- uh, yeah. what am i gonna do i'm fucking 16 like it's i, I it's still great like tom holland is like so far of all the cast so in live action yes. spider-man movies he's the he's perfect believably Spider-Man. he's believably awkward oh my like, god i can see like oh yeah this is this is he's why the, he's not the popular kid he's the perfect peter parker awkward like it's, I, yeah, it's yeah, absolutely the peter parker awkward spot along fucking with, on along with yeah he gets spider powers and now he's fucking ripped yeah uh, like it's so it's so amazing like th- he, he, Tom Holland is Peter Parker. He's so just like brilliant. Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. Like, mm-hmm. th- there's never going to be. I, I don't think you could ever get a more perfect casting than this. You know, <laughs> I love that. It, it fucking it put back such an asshole. They're yes. chilling and having a good time, and he's like, "Now, go, uh, go kiss the girl. I give you about a seventy percent chance." Uh, you're fifty fifty chance. Pretty, you're pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. <laughs> I was pretty like, awkward, oh, what a dick. I was like, please don't turn. This is great. <laughs> this is... And, and then, then he does. Yeah, of course, yeah. he's got to turn. And honestly, I thought like the whole like dynamic that the, like the, the the love story that was thrown in there actually fit in really well because, because it was it's such a high school love it story. It is like it totally also is. the comedy of uh, yeah. his buddy and the other chick. Yeah, it's fucking funny. I saw it coming. The end of the movie where they, they, they literally take an eight hour plane trip and are now girlfriend and boyfriend because they talked for a little while. And they were on like a five day trip or whatever. And, and the like, constant, the constant, uh, oh, honey, oh baby, uh-huh. all the, oh, all just, the, like the, uh, like the they texting each other on the bus next to each other. Miss you, miss you. Like, ah, oh my God. And then the end of the movie, we broke up. People, I just wanted Peter to just slap him. Like slap him full that, spider strength, so he goes flying across the. That would have been an appropriate response, yeah. yes. But yeah, that the, the his relationship with Mary Jane—they're both fucking completely awkward. Like, yeah, like I, the, uh, I, I like you too. I, I like Zendaya you too. plays a fucking perfect Mary Jane. I don't. I I, I, never, I like her interpretation. Of I MJ. like this character. Yeah, yeah, the way they wrote this as like, being creep like the creepy girl the awkward girl yeah. who's into like serial killers and stuff like that and death I'm, I'm, and like weird shit like that it's not Mar- it's not the way I think of Mary Jane no not at all but I think, do like the character like because Mary Jane is an entirely she's different a, she's the popular girl she's right. the smart um like she was the character in the last one like like that character in Homecoming, whatever her... What, well, no, because... That's, that's who she should have been, right? More... Yeah, I, well, yeah, close, even though th- that was Gwen Stacy. Well, I know um, that, but, but what I'm still, saying is Mary that Jane, character that was played, the original that should Spider-Man, have been Mary Jane. The original Spider-Man, I think, is because she's more artistic than right. super scientist, which is what she was in uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, she was yeah, I a genius or whatever. Dude, I don't even fucking remember Amazing Spider-Man. I'm she just... was, she was, um, she was the one who got the internship at, um, right. Uh, the well, what I'm saying is in Homecoming, Gwen Stacy, or whatever, who, whatever character that was. You mean Amazing Spider-Man? No, I mean Homecoming. Homecoming. The 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 chick that was in Homecoming that he also had the crush on. Oh he, yes, yeah, yeah. That, that should that have was... been Mary Jane. That that embodies Mary Jane's character better than like the original actual Mary Jane. That yeah. embodies her character better than than this one. But I absolutely love this Mary Jane. Like I I love this MJ. 
Like she, I don't know oh, why no, she's she's fucking. She great. fits in with how awkward Peter is perfectly. I almost wish they didn't call her MJ, but at the same time, if you're gonna have a Spider-Man love interest, yeah, it needs to be either Gwen Stacy um, or Mary Jane, yeah. or Mary um, Jane Watson, either either or, MJ um, or the chick who's Black Cat, whose name I can't remember right now. Oh, I don't um, even know anything about that. Uh, it's, it's fucking Catwoman for Spider-Man. Right, yeah, I know I know that. Yeah. Like, I, I'm aware of that. By the name, that just, yeah. oh, yeah. But, but uh, which literally, she's just a fucking cat character. I don't know why that never popped into my head. <laughs> Intellectual theft. Um, <laughs> Intellectual property theft. But, yeah, it, it's it's a fucking <clears throat> great movie. They're, they're, they, there are things like... That happen for convenience sake. Yeah, like of the course. way they figure Plot out everything has to. The be. way they yeah. figure out, I thought was pretty dumb. That it's just like, hey, I found this thing. <gasps> it's a hologram machine. <gasps> it's all fake. Oh no! And it was like right after he handed him the glasses, and yeah. it was like, I was like, uh, okay, I almost the uh, the fucking Doctor that was Strange. Almost too convenient. It was almost too convenient. You might as well had Doctor Strange just pop exactly. out of a fucking portal. That's you, bullshit. It would have. <laughs> That would have been you as convenient. That's the, that's the Doctor Strange of cameo. He's the he's the he's the exactly. he pops in. We don't see him. He's off screen. He knocks that off of there, and it lands in front exactly. of MJ, and she figures there it out. There was a little portal thingy that cut it off, like knocked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he just reached out and hit it. Like I didn't realize what happened when, because the way it, Peter shoots the web at the um, Ferris wheel and it hits something before. And I was like, even like, what the fuck? And he yanks. Yeah, he, and he it goes was like, tumbling. What the, what and the he, hell? Yeah, he was wondering about it. I didn't even realize I like what it was. It didn't click for you until at first. later on. You're like, yeah, oh god. Uh, and I was like, oh okay, but yeah, the convenience of that kind of bothered me. But that's when they're in the second act, and it's like, okay, we need to get going now with the plot and. That's that, how they did. That's when the final act starts. Exactly. Like, oh my! I the way it all ties together, it it, it seriously is neat. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's it's neat. Um, but you know, guys, go see the flick. We're gonna yep. wind it down there. And, yeah, we've been going for a while. Uh, yeah. Um, including stay the, for after the credits. The mid credits scene is something is is like, like I may have missed said, the mid credit scene. Uh, that's where they reveal Spider Man's uh, daily. I think you got there right as he the, it happened, but. Uh, it's yeah. Where well, I mean, I know at the end of the movie, um, he swings, he's swinging around with MJ. He swings with MJ, and then all of a sudden, there's a big news report in Times Square, and God, yes. the and the news report. You know, we have this video from um, <coughs> the Daily Bugle dot com. Oh yeah, or whatever the he calls the I, Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, and it's J Jonah Jameson played by uh, the ah oh, fucking of course his name's out of my head. Um, uh, oh, I'll, I'll go look that up because JJ a, no. Uh, uh, Whatever the guy who plays J. Jonah Jameson from the, the original Spider-Man movies, the perfect J. Jonah Jameson. Oh my God! Yes, uh, the only guy who could play it. Oh man, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. I knew it was a J. Mm -hmm. J.K. Simmons with instead of the little J. Jonah Jameson Hitler mustache, he's got a full mustache. He's got the but, Alex Jones going on, but oh he's my totally God. being Alex Jones. He's it's at a amazing. he's at the same kind of news desk. They put, took that, and I mean, I say took, but that's how he is in the <clears> Spider-Man <throat> video game. Is he's essentially a podcaster, um, and he's like he's like Alex Jones ranting and raving, and that's what he is in this movie. And he reveals like I finally have proof of the villain. The villainous spider-man he's you know a menace and he reveals this video that quentin beck quote-unquote took right before he's defeated and by he the way they it. say he's it dead heavily edited. he's not fucking dead he no. can i i they better have not killed another fucking villain off but um it's a video quentin beck highly edited so it looks like he's uh about to die and spider-man is declaring he's going to use the drones to kill a bunch of people and this was spider-man's yep, whole yep, idea yep. or that he stopped the hero mysterio uh-huh uh and then he says spider-man's real identity is peter parker and, and peter's reaction is what the f and the movie cuts off oh that's so fantastic <laughs> so good oh man and then of course the end credit scene i love that yeah where it reveals that the whole time nick fury and um the, oh, oh my god uh agent hill agent hill the whole time are the scrolls are uh are the two scrolls from fucking captain marvel from captain marvel the scroll leader and his wife it's like it's just so good he's like i thought that went well <laughs> like he's just and she so looks good. at him you have to tell him 
Oh, come on. I don't want... It went fine. You got the glasses back. Yes. Nothing happened. It was so, so good. And I then love... he sits there. He pulls up. He does this video call with somebody. You're like, who the fuck's he talking to? And it comes out that it's Nick Fury. The he's real Nick to, Fury. The real Nick Fury who just hangs up and it looks like he's on a beach or something. And then he walks out and it's like... Turns he's out at... it's a hollow deck and he's, he's on... in fucking space. He's on the scroll ship and they're doing shit. I don't even think that was... I don't think that was the scroll ship. That might not have been, but there were but definitely... But it was a big fucking ship. It was a big fuck off yeah. Yeah, there were and, scrolls. And there were people. scrolls walking around it. So I'm guessing that's the people that they rescued in Captain Marvel who are now doing things for Nick Fury. Or or Captain Marvel. I don't know. Like, it's... Well, I mean, he walks out. All right, guys, let's get to work. Who's got my shoes? Yes. <laughs> where is my super suit? Um, He's like Frozone. That yeah. whole thing makes me question, like, where are they going Did with Did he this? voice Frozone, too? Mm, let's find I out. I don't remember. Um... But it makes me question where, like, where are they going with that? It's almost like shield in space. Right. Which is odd. He did. He fucking yeah, he totally def- did. Of course he did. <laughs> where is my super shoes? Who's Woman. got my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> so, Woman, who's got my shoes? <laughs> it's so good. But it's it's like, where, why, where, I don't know where they're taking it. I just know the, I think the whole thing with them, I hope they don't, like, have the next movie or the next Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man's like on the run from the law because there is no world in which Pepper Potts can't immediately make a news statement and say, no, that was fake. I have all of the proof that shows that when he even says execute, it's Peter telling the drones to shut down, execute them all. The video is edited, so it looks like he's saying execute them all as in execute all the people. Rather than execute all the cancellations. Yeah, Yeah. which there is no reality in which they can't immediately prove that to be false. It's bullshit. Yeah, but the whole thing is in public opinion. It's too late. Yeah, he's he's that that ruins his he's reputation now. Yeah. Also, he's I mean, bad his, guy. His, his and he's just, no longer just friendly in the way Spider-Man. of being a hero. There are going to be people who don't like you know. Right. That you, of course. Of oh, course. you fucking you slammed it on my fucking car when you stopped that crane from falling. You fucking jackass. Oh Why'd you God. destroy my car? Why did How you destroy my building? How fucking dare I say my 700 was, people? My kid was injured while you crazy super powered fucking people, even though, you know, he's saving the goddamn city. It's the, it's the old, it's the same old thing that he it's, was superheroes get. It just get. affected me. Yeah. Why'd you have the to The villain is going to destroy the city and the superhero stops them, but in stopping them, there's always going like, to be a little bit of collateral Somebody damage. gets hurt by collateral damage yeah. and they blame the superhero. Yeah. Um, so rather than the, fu- it's like when you have a cheating partner and you yes. blame the person they cheated with rather than the person cheating, yes. you know, like it's, it's that whole, it's that whole, that, that he's going to have to deal with that now. And obviously his identity being out there, which is something that in the comics always t- typically happened he willingly does it in civil war. Now it's just, it's, it's been revealed. And yeah, I, I think that's, and he's a 16 year old kid. Cool. So all his fucking privacy is out the goddamn window. Oh my, oh my God. God. It's yeah. just, it's just shot. And that, I just cannot wait to see how they play that. The fallout from that is going to be amazing. Like, can, does he even go back to school? Does, can he? And his whole thing is still the old school Spider-Man worry of, I care about people. If my identity's out there, I can People are going to get hurt. Yeah. You know, my, and of course, this is going to be, I hope it's not too much because I've seen it enough and they did it they did it into the ground in the amazing Spider-Man of I'm I, oh no I can't be close to someone or they'll get hurt I really hope that's not the whole central plot of the next movie is Mary Jane gets captured and and he's like oh, we can't be together because anybody near me gets I really hate that superhero trope yeah, at no, this point it, it, it's, it's, and it's I know that, that's probably where they're gonna go it's, it's totally played out oh like, my god like, I, I just, get it but come on I dude. can't be close no, everyone who's close to me gets it just okay stop. Batman chill out stop it yeah. stop Stop. I know. It, it, it Just stop. Stop no. it. Stop it. There's fucking literally space drones all over. Can save anyone. Stop it. Mary Jane is, sir, your, Re- your aunt is fine. Mary Jane is Remember, fine. you almost called a hit on your fucking, on one of your that classmates. so stupid. <laughs> like, but totally <laughs> makes sense because he's awkward and fucking. Stupid. Yeah. All right, guys. He's a dumb 16-year-old. Why did Tony, Tar- Tony Stark, Tony, yeah, give Tony him- Stank give a 16-year-old that much power? God damn it. All right, guys. I agree with fucking Quentin Beck. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was that was fun. Check I had a lot out. of good, good, a lot of good laughs. Mm-hmm. The movie was fantastic, despite that idiot on Twitter. Um, <laughs> despite some fucking dude who wasn't hugged enough. 
Yeah, who, who got beat as a child. I'm sorry <laughs> that your childhood was terrible, so now you lash out by spoiling movies for people on the internet. Oh, it pro- he probably didn't even have that bad of a childhood. He probably didn't even have a bad childhood. He's just, it's just fucking... He needs attention. Exactly. Um. So, you know, if you guys enjoyed our, our inane ramblings and stuff <laughs> like that, you know, you know, give us a like, give us a share, you know, let everybody know we exist, as many people as you can. Retweets are always... You know, appreciate it. And if you really, really liked us, go on patreon.com slash ungodly geeks. Give us like a buck. Yeah. We could use an extra buck a month. You know, That'd right be now. awesome. Um, but for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you.